Good morning, my friends. It's Sunday, October 24th, our day of worship, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. My cat is still outside, but I have a beautiful card, a painting from a parishioner of mine um, that I've been using this morning to help me pray. It's just strikingly beautiful. When I, when I point the cell phone at the painting, there is a bit of a reflection, but I think you can see it for the most part. It is called God's Grandeur by D. Beggarly. The painting moves me in its motion within the earth as well as its motion in the sky. And within the earth, the motion is mostly vertical. In the sky, it's horizontal, sort of making a cross in and of itself. So much beauty. God's grandeur. Today is our day of worship and we have a wonderful gospel. Well, they're usually good, but it's about Bartimaeus, the blind beggar who sits by the side of the road in Jericho. And when he hears Jesus coming by, he screams out, Jesus, son of God, have mercy on me. And he keeps yelling it. He yells it so much that Jesus stops and says, come to me. And Bartimaeus runs to him even though he's blind. And Jesus says, what do you want? And Bartimaeus says, I want to see. And Jesus says, your faith has made you well. And Bartimaeus has gained his sight. It's a story of what happens when we stop trying to do things ourselves and simply beg God to be God. That line, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. I was taught that line in Greek by my godfather when I was 17. Kyrie, Jesu Christe, eleison me, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Kyrie, Jesu Christe, eleison me. I've been saying that phrase in my mind as a mantra. In my mind over and over whenever I think of it or whenever I'm scared since I was 17 and I'm 51. And what has happened is that when I'm in a position of crisis or when something threatens me, I say it automatically. I say it in my mind when I'm not recognizing that I'm saying it. It's become my strength. But when I first started saying it, I wondered, why do I have to ask for mercy? I haven't done anything wrong. Mercy is an outpouring of love on God's part. It's us saying, God, why don't you run my life instead of me? I'm not doing well by myself. Bartimaeus knew he was blind because he was physically blind. Most of us don't know we're blind. We think we can handle everything ourselves. We think we can see where to go in our lives. What's the next step? What should we do? We make decisions on our own, when in reality, the one who truly sees, sees beyond time and space, sees our inner nature, sees everyone's inner nature. Why wouldn't we want that one telling us where to go? Why wouldn't we want that one seeing for us, showing us how to see? Bartimaeus knew he was blind. We don't, but we are. We don't see clearly, as Paul says. We see through a glass dimly. So we pray for God's mercy, not because we're bad, but just because we're limited. And we need that mercy to guide us, to open our eyes, to show us the way home. Kyrie, Jesu Christe, eleison me. Lord, Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Show me where to go. Show me how to see so that I may follow you. And Bartimaeus, once he sees, he does follow. Let us pray. Oh.
Almighty God, help us to see your creation in all of its beauty and grandeur. Open our eyes today to the intricacies of a flower, the magnificence of a big tree, the glory of a sunset. Help us to see the beauty and woundedness in others. Help us to listen. Give us wisdom and mostly give us mercy that we may do your will on this earth and not our own. Bless the sick, bless the dying, the hungry, those who are in need. Bless those who suffer from mental health issues or addiction those who are frightened or alone. Bless the grieving. Blanket this earth with your loving kindness and grace that we may learn to live together in harmony, to care for one another in peace. All this we ask in the name of Jesus, your son, who gives us his mercy. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.